Hello, I'm Alistair Stevenson reporting for v3.co.uk and today I'm reviewing the Nokia Lumia 920. Now, it's no secret Nokia hasn't been having a great run of fortunes recently, putting out a slew of disastrous financial quarters. For this reason, it's had a real incentive to knock one out of the park with this next flagship smartphone. And while we've noticed a few issues which could put off consumers on the Lumia 920, for business users, we're really impressed. I think it's done just that. In terms of dimensions, the Lumia 920 is big. It measures in at 170 by 71 by 10.7 millimeters and weighs 185 grams. This means it's 50 to 60 grams heavier than competing devices in the same size bracket. That said, it does have a load of perks. The Lumia 920 has a 4.5 inch screen. It has 768 by 1280 322 ppi a screen resolutions and we're really impressed with it. This is helped by the fact it has clear black technology. Clear black serves to make the blacks deeper and make colours and text pop out more. It makes using the device in bright sunlit conditions a lot nicer. And while direct sunlight still makes it hard to use, in other conditions which where smartphones like the Galaxy S3 and iPhone could struggle, the Lumia 920 remained legible and we were really impressed with the screen's performance. Another perk you'll notice is that it comes running Microsoft's new Windows Phone 8 operating system. Now, as well as adding the ability to resize tiles, which is done by holding down, pulling out, popping back in the tiles, it also comes with a host of business benefits, most noticeable of which is Microsoft Office. Featuring Word, PowerPoint, and all the standard tools you'd want to use, this allows you to edit documents on the fly. And also, with full SkyDrive integration, you can store them, meaning that you can have all your documents with you at any time. Now, while some IT managers might be scared of this, Windows Phone 8 actually has corporate encryption meaning that any data stored on the smartphone's internal storage will be protected. This is a real big boom for any business user, and we really are happy to see the feature integrated. Additionally, 920 also comes with really, really, really good Nokia custom maps. For example, Nokia Maps. Bing Maps isn't great. While it's not as bad as Apple Maps, it really still isn't that usable. Nokia Maps, on the other hand, is very good so much so that they're actually powering a number of other services now. Additionally, it's added, Nokia has added a few other cool features, like city lands. Now, we quite regularly find ourselves in locations where we're not, we're not familiar with. Going around, you can actually turn on the city lands, an augmented reality display, and find everything you need, from food, places to eat, hotels, shopping, landmarks, uh, entertainment, and even local transport. Try it out. You can see, even inside, it's coming with a host, telling us a host of different pop-ups, telling us what's around us and near us, giving them distances, and even reviews when it comes to the restaurants. While this may sound like a gimmick, testing out the device we found ourselves regularly turning to it before we turned on the maps feature, which we're fairly surprised by ourselves, but does give a testament to how useful the city lens can be. Now, another perk of Windows Phone 8 is the fact that Microsoft finally added multi-core support to its mobile operating system. Where before it claimed you don't need multi-core processors in a smartphone, we found, having tested the Nokia Lumia 920, which features a 1.5 GHz dual-core Snapdragon processor by Qualcomm, Microsoft really was wrong. The Lumia 920 is much faster than the 800 and 900 that, that came before it, and we're really impressed with video streaming instantly, web pages loading automatically, even when running over the Vodafone's 3G network, not the EE 4G network that it's also compatible with. We're really looking forward to trying the Lumia 920 over the EE 4G network, thinking that it's going to make it even better to use. Another great perk of the Lumia 920 is that it comes loaded with Nokia's PureView camera brand. Now, not to get confused with the 808 PureView, which had a 41 megapixel camera, the Nokia Lumia 920 comes with an 8.7 megapixel camera. What's special about it is it has a floating lens, meaning that when you're taking video, it still remains, remains stable and watchable, even in shaky conditions like riding a bike or, ride, or going on a bumpy bus ride. Additionally, the lens, the sensor, takes in a lot of light. We found taking photos even in very dark conditions that came out brilliant. And we really think this is the best camera phone on the market at the moment. We would thoroughly recommend it to any avid snapper who's looking to have it integrated into their mobile device. That said, for consumers, it's not perfect. Despite Microsoft's best efforts, the App Store on Windows Phone is still woefully short when compared to Android and iOS. 
Additionally, what few apps it does have are still more expensive, so consumers may be put off with key things like Instagram still not appearing on Windows Phone. But for business users, with full link integ integration, Skype, all the key parts are there. You don't really need much more if you're just using this as a BYOD device. In short, we're very impressed with the Lumia 920, which is why we gave it 5 out of 5. For a more thorough look at the, at the device, check out our full written review. I'm Alistair Stevenson, reporting for v3.co.uk. Thanks for watching.